Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Reviews and Previews, where I review and preview my teams, Newcastle and Arsenal. This week, um, yeah, let's just not talk about it that much, let's go through the results anyway. Not very good results for my teams this week, very much. Um, it was Crystal Palace 2, Chelsea 3, very good game that was. Watford 2, Norwich 1, former Arsenal player Danny Wildbuck scoring an amazing overhead kick to win Watford the game. Norwich are pretty much gone mathematically now. They have to win all their rest of the games or something like that. Arsenal 1, Leicester 1, very unlucky result for Arsenal, we'll come to that later. Man City 5, Newcastle 0, that was kind of expected. Sheffield United 1, Wolves 0. Late winner for Sheffield United. Wolves are in trouble now of missing out on um, European football and Champions League definitely now. Um, West Ham 0, Burnley 1. Good win for Burnley. West Ham sort of needed something out of that one. Brighton 1, Liverpool 3. Good performance by Liverpool. Got two goals for Salah there. And then Bournemouth 0, Tottenham 0. That was a good result for Arsenal because then Tottenham stayed behind them. Um, Everton won, Southampton won. Yep, good result, really, for both. Well, they'll take it, I suppose. Aston Villa nil. Man United 3, very dubious penalty decision at the start of that game from Fernandez. It really wasn't a very... It really wasn't a penalty. He stamped on his foot. He stood on the Aston Villa player's foot. But we don't really care about that too much. Anyway, on to my teams, Arsenal and Newcastle. I'm not sure to start with because it's just depressing for both of them to be honest I mean Arsenal we played very well in that first half really should have taken more of our chances but then that man Jamie Vardy had to score against us but it was a it was the red card from Rinketia that lost us the game well, well that didn't lose us the game but like definitely didn't help a lot it was a very unfortunate red card I think it was a bit a bit unlucky I didn't really think that it was to be honest I don't know <sighs> It was a bad, it was a very bad challenge. I I I'd say it probably was a penalty to be honest because he did just like stamp on him a bit. He did go into him very high, so it was a bit unlucky. VAR reviewed it. The referee went over to the screen, so I'll take the red card. Was then Jamie Vardy? Was he offside or not for the goal? I think he's it's just about on. If I Jose Perez had touched that ball, I wish he had. Oh God, we're going into Minecraft, boys. Um, this isn't supposed to happen. Hang on, let me just go into that, back into this. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, it was a very disappointing draw. I was very disappointed in this, with this result here. Anyway, doesn't matter though, because Arsenal still keep above Tottenham. And we pay them this weekend, so we'll have a look at that just in a minute. Last review, Newcastle, I don't really want to touch on this too long. 5-0, what did we expect? Not a lot. It was like just too easy for City to score all of their goals. We to be fair, we didn't have half of our team. They're all injured, and Steve just rested them because he knew that we would not have a chance in this game. To be honest, but five nil is a bit embarrassing. The amount of, then we gave them about two or three goals. The decision for the free kick was ridiculous. It was never a foul, so that was a bit unfortunate. But yeah, never mind. Five nil puts us on a bad goal difference, and now we're behind Southampton, which is not very good. Anyway, anyway, on to this week's fixtures. Now, I'll predict them as usual, all again. Oh, God, I've gone into something now. Oh, no, what's going on here? Anyway, I saw the I saw the fixtures there. There's Norwich, West Ham. Let me just go back into BBC for a minute. Anyway, it's Norwich, West Ham. Not looking too good for Norwich at the minute. They're probably going to have to... They're going down easily. They, if they don't win this game, I think they're down. So, yeah, that could be it for them. I think I think they have to draw it at least, actually. So, I'm going to go... Norwich, I'm just going to give them something again. Norwich 1, West Ham 1. I like to give Norwich something a bit, you know, just to give them something. Watford, Newcastle. This could be a hard game. I'll review. I'll preview this even more in even more detail later. But I'm going to go one all. I just feel like we're not going to win this after being battered by Man City. Liverpool, Burnley, oh, 2 0 to Burn, 2 0 to Liverpool. Sorry, not Burnley. God. Um, Sheffield United, Chelsea, two one Chelsea. Oh, sorry. 
2 1 Chelsea. I think they'll just about win that one. Be a good game. Brighton Man City is going to be 3 0 to City. Brighton don't seem to. Brighton have got a very hard schedule considering they've took points off some teams like Arsenal. They've done quite well to survive this season. And then on to Sunday, we've got Wolves Everton. Very good game, maybe. I'm going to go 2 0. 2 0 for that game. Um, Aston Villa Crystal Palace. Hmm, Aston Villa really have to win this. And I think they will. I'm going to go 2-1 Aston Villa. They're going to grind out a win to maybe have a chance of staying up. Tottenham, Arsenal, I don't know. My, my heart says Arsenal are going to actually thump them because Tottenham are absolute rubbish. But I just feel like Tottenham will have more to play for in this game. I think it could be a draw. I'm going to go 2-all. I don't know. But I... Oh, no, I'm going to give it to Arsenal. 2-1 to Arsenal. Come on. Up the gunners. Bournemouth, Leicester is really a must-not-lose game. Bournemouth really have to get something out of this to try and stay up. They did draw with Tottenham very well. They'll take something from that, hopefully. Maybe they'll get something out of this. I'm gonna, but I am going to go, unfortunately, 2-1 to Leicester. Maybe 2-0, actually. 2-0 to Leicester. The Man United, Southampton. Oh, God. Why do we have so many bad fixtures? Why do Man United have to be so good at the moment? Ah, oh, never mind. Um, I go three 0 Man United because they just absolutely like a battering teams at the minute. Anyway, let's review my teams. Fixtures are even more detailed. Watford Newcastle. Oh dear, it was one all in the season as it says there. Um, hopefully we'll have our some of our players back, including Lascelles, maybe Almera on. He was on the bench, so I think he would have come on, but. Bruce just rested him. And St. Maximum, whether he might play, I don't know. Hopefully, Jamal LaSalle is back there, so we definitely need him. Watford, they look like they're... They just won, but it was against Norwich, to be fair, so I'm not really sure if they're any good, to be honest. If they're actually that good. I'm not sure if that was a very good... Because they did concede early on as well. I think Newcastle could win this easily, but then again, they might not. So, um, hmm... I'm not really sure. I think Watford could, Watford could win this, but then so could we. So it could be a draw. I'm just going to say a draw one or just be a bit boring, you know. I can't actually watch this game because it's on Amazon Prime. I don't know why the fixtures are starting. I don't know why Premier League football is starting to go on there. It's a bit ridiculous, really, I think. I I just don't know why because it's like, why do, we ha why do people just have to pay even more to just watch a, a football match? You shouldn't have to pay... A lot of money just to watch football. It's not like a big thing. It's easier to go and like watch the game. Um. Anyway, I think this could be a draw. Hopefully, we'll have some of our players back. I'll take a draw from this game. I, we, I don't think we're going to get to mid table like we said we were. Hopefully, top ten. If we get past our points tally from last season, that'll be good. Which is forty five. So I'll take anything past forty five points. I don't think we're going to get up to Burnley now, though. Six points off them. That's going to be a bit of an art, a tough task to do that. But anyway, I'm taking the results so far. I think we'll get a draw out of this, hopefully. So, yeah, I'm going to go a good old one-all draw. And I'm not even going to watch the game. I have to see the highlights on match of the day. Woohoo! And then on to Tottenham Arsenal. What a game this could be. I mean, Arsenal obviously don't have Nketiah. So Lacazette's going to start again. I wouldn't be surprised if he just stays unchanged, to be honest. Might make a couple of changes, I don't know. But I think we're playing very well at the minute. Tottenham are playing very badly at the minute. They were lucky to win against Everton on Monday. Probably a bit lucky to draw with Bournemouth yesterday. So, yeah, I think Arsenal could. They could either smash them, hopefully. I hope it's just like 5-0 and we just, like absolutely, just absolutely kill them. I just really think, because if we win this game, then we're pretty much going to finish above them this season, quite most likely. Because then we'll be four points ahead of them. They'll have to, like, make up those four points. But then again, we, we could easily lose those four points again because we've got to play Liverpool at home. I think we could we could do something against Liverpool in midweek. You never know. So, yeah, hopefully we'll do something good. I think it, uh, 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 the reason I say a draw is because I think Tottenham will just be up for this game a bit more. And Jose, obviously, with I've been I've heard there's a stuff in the media that Arsenal have been t tweeting to uh, on Twitter that um, 
it says it's oh it's hard to win at Sheffield United because Tottenham obviously lost there. <laughs> it's hard to lose. At, it's hard to win at Sheffield United, obviously, because Arsenal did win at Sheffield United in the FA Cup. Jose had a bit of got a bit of backlash from that. He came back at Arsenal saying they'd only they're only making fun of them because we're not playing very well. But so I mean, you're not either, mate. So like they're just as bad as us. They're probably worse than us, I think. I think Harry Kane might leave them in the in the next year or so because I just don't think he likes Mourinho either. Mourinho goes or he does. I think they're gonna they're gonna lose a lot of players. I think Tottenham. Hopefully, I think anyway. I'm just going back to the game, I think Arsenal will will get a a result. Hopefully, I think it could either be two all a draw maybe, or either Arsenal will just get the win because we're just playing so much better than they are at the minute. And I think we just are, we're defending much better as well. I say that we'll probably ship about five goals now or something. Now I've said that. Anyway, I think Arsenal could get a draw, maybe at least. I'm hoping for a win so we can get clear of Tottenham. But anyway, that's it for my predictions this week. Let's just have a little look at the table. Obviously, that puts Arsenal in eighth after this week's results, and we're gonna do well. It's only I think it's I think it's between for the top five now. Maybe we're hearing about um, Man City's European ban on Monday, so the next video I will bring to you will be on Tuesday, I think, because that's when Chelsea are playing Norwich or something. So yeah, I'll bring you the next video on Tuesday and then Man City's ban will be either upheld or not given or whatever. So we'll see if 5th place and 8th place will be important this season for Champions League football. So yeah, anyway, that's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Just, I haven't gone through the table, have I? Anyway, right, Arsenal in 8th. That's them done for Champions League. 8 points off Man United in 5th only. 9 points still off Leicester. Tottenham are only just behind us. We'll do. I think we want we want to get European football. We'll just we'll take the Europa League to be honest. Whatever we could build with Mikel Arteta next season. Newcastle on forty three points. I'd be liking to finish above um, Crystal Palace this season. Maybe that would be quite a good thing to happen. Maybe I'm not sure if we will because we've still got we've still got to play um, Liverpool and Tottenham. So yeah, hopefully we'll win a couple more games. Might get a couple more points than last season. So anyway. That is it for this video today, guys. Yeah, see you next season. See you next episode, sorry. Bye, see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.